Here we go, guys. The game changer in foot is here. Three, four, two, one. Let's get into the tactics. Defensive style, press after possession loss. Width, 50, depth, 50. And into the offense. Build up play, balanced, chance creation, balanced. Width, we're going to have at 53. The reason we have the width at 53 is guess those wide players that we have two of a little bit wider. Not much. Just in the box, corners, free kicks is up to you, but I leave them neutral. Turn into the production. So we have our one striker. We want them to get in behind. Everything else is normal, but we'll get them to get in behind. Moving into our two set of forwards. We're not changing anything, guys. We're leaving them pretty neutral to what they are as default. Moving into our two wide players. On the left, we want to make sure they're coming back on defense. On the right, coming back on defense. Moving into your two central midfielders, guys. We want them to stick to position and cover wing. Okay, make sure they are both sticking to position and covering wing. It'll make a lot more sense when we get into the details. Back three. Okay, guys, so here we're changing everyone in our back three to a step up. Okay, a step up position. The re what I found with this is that with our with our defenders stepping up, it puts the, the, uh, their offense under a lot of pressure a lot earlier. And as long as our keeper is coming for crosses and as a sweeper keeper, Balls over the top are dealt with really easily. Hey guys, so in game, it is imperative that we change this one thing, okay? So we want to get into your defensive tactics and we want to overload the ball side, okay? We've got to overload the ball side for our defensive tactics. In our offensive tactics, we need to hug sideline. The reason we need to hug the sideline, guys, is because we need these two wide players here, here, guys, we need them to stick out wide and stay out wide for these tactics to work. Now, what we also can do if you're losing is just change it to an ultra attacking formation and leave, change nothing with the instructions as the formation 3-4-2-1 is already an attacking formation. This formation I have been at for weeks, guys. Absolutely weeks. And I found the custom tactics that made me go from being really struggling in the foot chance in 23 to get in a 2020 weekend with these tactics, okay, guys? Now, a lot of people like the 3-4-3, but for me, the 3-4-2-1 offers a lot more stability in the midfield, and you can go, I'm a more of a tack down the middle player with a wide option there if we need it. And the 3-4-2-1 tactics 100% make that happen. That said, 4-2-4 is a good option. 